It's that time of the week again for our direct to own athlete of the week here at the Mengilao location. And today's athlete, 14 year old bowler Noah Timinglo. All right, thanks. Congratulations, Noah, on winning athlete of the week. Who would you like to donate this check to? I would like to donate this check to Guam Cancer Care. Noah, you bowl in the Youth Bowler of the Month. Perfect game, 300. But let's talk about how you got your start uh, with the sport. Um, I would like to say that my grandpa got me into the sport. Um, I started bowling when I was eight years old, and that's when I got my, my first ball and shoes. And from there, it was just crazy. You've met your sister in the finals uh, twice already, losing the first time, winning the second time. How is it meeting up with your sister in the finals? Um, it wasn't that um, stressful. It wasn't all that because, uh, you know, it feels like practice when I, when I bowl with her. So I just thought of that, and that's how I got to, that's how I got to beat her. You bowled your first 300 game recently. What was going through your mind? 10th frame, all strikes, 11th and 12th, needing to strike all the way through for that perfect 300. Um, I was, my heart was racing. Uh, I had so much nerves in my hands that I, it was hard for me to even throw the ball. So what I did was just I, I tried to relax and not look at the crowd because you know that would get me even more nervous. So. That's, that's what I did. Yeah, let's talk about trying to qualify for the national team. What does it mean to you to be able to represent Guam uh, in international competition? Oh, it means everything. Um, just to go out there and just compete. I mean, I don't, I'm just not there to really win. I'm trying to win, but um, I'm just trying to go there for experience and um, get all the nerves off my back and um, trying to uh, not get stressful and nervous uh, when I go off in the next few times. Last but not least, let's talk about your long-term goal with the sport. My long-term goal for the sport is to make it to the professional professional league. Um, um, trying to get sponsored by by um, the uh, by the brands of bowling and I'm just trying to make it to television. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dyer and Tone Athlete of the Week. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Switching over to some softball news, let's meet a few more of the ladies representing Guam at the PGF National Championships held in California. The team leaves Island next week, Wednesday, for competition. Hafele Guam, my name is Samantha Kanata. I am 17 years old. I am from the village of Sunahanya, and I play third base for Team Guam. Hafadei Guam, my name is Dorian Calvo. I'm 17 years old from the village of Totsu, and I play second base and outfield for Team Guam. Hafadei Guam, my name is Ashley Mendiola. I'm 16 years old. I'm from the village of Barragada, and I play utility for Team Guam. Hafadei Guam, my name is Kaylee Camacho. I'm 17 years old from the village of Jonya, and I play outfield and pitcher for Team Guam. The Bank of Guam strikers looking to bring home their second straight Landshark Beach Soccer League title. BOG is going to have to win back-to-back -back matches tomorrow to force an if game against quality distributors. The strikers survived the playoffs, picking up a win over the UOG Tritons 8-2. Takafumi Inouye led the way with five goals. Quality still perfect in the playoffs behind a 5-2 Win over previously unbeaten Bobcat Rovers. The Strikers meet up with the Rovers at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Winner of the game will face Quality at 8. 